Are you ready to learn common expressions, figures of speech, and connected speech in English? Let's have a lot of fun doing it today with popular song Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. So this is a fantastic song for you to study with. It has a lot of figures of speech, and while these are not so common for your spoken English, they are very present in songs and other similar media, and so it's really good practice for you to be able to recognize these and learn to decipher their meaning. Plus, you'll get a ton of very common American pronunciation examples. So let's watch that. And by the way, if you want to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles, we help you to do it every single week. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell down below to not miss a single one of our new lessons. We go together. Better than birds of a feather, you and me. American pronunciation T plus Y. In American English, often when we have a T followed by a Y, even in different words, it becomes a CH sound. For example, I'll get you one. I'll get you one. We will meet you later. We'll meet you later. I bet you that you will like it. I bet you that you'll like it. Aren't you a little cute to be a doctor? Aren't you a little cute to be a doctor? Hey, you guys all know what you want to do. You guys all know what you want to do. Now let's see some examples in the song. We go together. Better than birds of a feather, you and me. Birds of a feather. A feather is one of the many soft, light things that cover a bird's body. Now, in the song, you can hear the expression birds of a feather, which is figurative. If two or more people are said to be birds of a feather, that means they are very similar in character. Example, he liked meeting Tony. They're two birds of a feather. There's a longer version of this expression that has a slightly different meaning and application that is, birds of a feather flock together. It is said about people who often spend time with each other and have similar characters or interests, especially ones of which you disapprove. Other expressions that are similar to birds of a feather that you can use in English are two peas in a pod, to be cast from the same mold, and like peanut butter and jelly. Example. You think you're very different from your brother, but you're like two peas in a pod. Few things will change with the new government. The three candidates are all cast from the same mold. She and her boyfriend go together like peanut butter and jelly. We go together. We go together. We go together. Better than birds of a feather, you and me. of a feather you and me would change the weather yeah i'm feeling heat in december when you found me we change the weather in the song the phrase we change the weather is another figure of speech they may mean that they change the mood of the place they are at or are capable of doing things that seem impossible do you know what a figure of speech is? Figures of speech are an element of the language that is very common in music. Check out this quick explanation that we gave in another one of our videos. Figure of speech. A figure of speech is an element of some languages consisting in phrases or words that have different meanings than its literal ones. There are many types of figures of speech, such as metaphors, oxymorons, hyperbole, and irony. Here are some examples of common figures of speech. Metaphor. I highly recommend you check out that full lesson from Game of Thrones after you finish this lesson with the Jonas Brothers. And by the way, remember that expressions are a type of figure of speech that are common in spoken English. However, many figures of speech, such as the example here, are more for poetic imagery and are not so common in spoken English. But don't worry, because we are going to be pointing out to you the most common spoken expressions throughout this video. We'll change the weather. Yeah. I'm feeling heat in December when you found me. 
I'm feeling heat in December. In countries in the Northern Hemisphere, such as the United States, it can get very cold in the winter, especially in the months of December through February. In the song, he says, I'm feeling heat in December when you're around me, which is another figure of speech, not used in spoken English, meaning that he feels so attracted to her that he feels hot or warm even in December when he is around her. Yeah. I'm feeling heat in December when you brown me. I'm feeling heat in December when you brown me. Yeah. I'm feeling heat in December when you brown me. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. Stumbling out of bars. To stumble is to walk in a way that does not seem controlled, as if you're about to fall. Example, her foot caught in the rug and she stumbled. To stumble out of a bar, as it is said in the song, means to leave a bar while stumbling, most likely for being drunk. I've been dancing on top of cars. I've been dancing on top of cars. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. And stumbling out of bars. Stumbling out of bars. Follow you through the dark. Can't get enough. Follow you through the dark. If you follow someone, you are moving behind them and going where they are going, in the same direction. Example My cat always follows me when I go to the kitchen. If you follow someone through the dark, that means you are following them blindly, trusting them to guide you wherever they may take you. Can't get enough of something. This is a very common expression, which simply means that you enjoy or like something so much that you want lots of it. Example, this sushi is delicious, I can't get enough. As you might have expected, it's another figurative expression. However, in some cases, it can refer to a person's actual condition of not knowing when to stop, when they have an uncontrollable desire or wish. Example, he's always drinking, it's like he can never get enough. Follow you through the dark, can't get enough. Dark, can't get enough. Follow you through the dark, can't get enough. Pronunciation note. Notice here the sound of can't. The NT sound in English often reduces to simply an N sound, as we hear it here. So many English learners ask, how do you tell the difference between can't and can when we remove the T sound from the negation? Well, the sound of can also changes. We reduce the vowel to a short I sound, so it sounds like kin. While can't, even reduced, retains the short A sound. What's more, there is a subtle glottal sound that replaces the T sound in can't. Let me give you some examples. I can't go to the party. I can go to the party. She can't do it. She can do it. No, we can't help. Yes, we can help. Let's look at some more examples from the song. Follow you through the dark and get enough. Don't complicate it. An exception is sometimes when the next word begins with a vowel. For example, with the T plus Y we saw before. Can't you come to the party? If you're enjoying this lesson, then you probably will really love learning English with TV series with our free mini course. You can learn more and sign up right up here. You're the medicine and the pain, the tattoo inside my brain, and baby, you know it's obvious. You're the medicine and the pain. A medicine is a substance, especially in the form of a liquid or a pill, for curing or treating an illness or injury. The figurative meaning here is that it says that the other person is both the problem and the solution. The tattoo inside my brain. Also figuratively, saying that something is tattooed inside your brain means that it is unforgettable. You cannot forget about it. Or maybe even that you cannot think of anything else that it's the only thing on your mind. You can often hear a tattoo used as a metaphor for something permanent. Example, her memory is tattooed on my heart. I'm a sucker for you. I'm a sucker for you. Informally speaking, and as used in the song, being a sucker means being somebody that is easily tricked or persuaded to do something. Example, I tricked that sucker into giving me a 50% discount. 
It can also be used similarly to the word loser. We've won every game we played in the tournament so far. Who are the suckers we are going to play next? Now being a sucker for something or somebody means that you like something or somebody so much that you will do almost anything to have it or them, or to please them. Example, I'm a sucker for cheesecake. I can't go a week without eating at least a piece. Practice your English. What are you a sucker for? Write it down in the comments below and see what your fellow learner said. You say the word and I'll go anywhere blindly. Say the word is a common expression used to tell someone that you are ready to do what they want at the time they ask you. Example, just say the word and I'll come help. If you say that you're doing something, such as following an order, blindly, figuratively, it means that you are doing it without asking why or without thinking for yourself whether what you are doing is right. Example, you shouldn't just blindly follow her advice. You may have noticed that this is similar to the term, I'll follow you through the dark, that you learned before. Pronunciation note. By the way, notice that in the song, sucker is pronounced without the typical strong American R at the end. I'm a sucker for you. The Jonas Brothers are American, and although pronouncing the R at the end of a word in this way, silently, with a long vowel, is more typical of British English, there are rare times that we do it in American English, particularly when people speak colloquially and with slang. Do you love music? Then you will definitely want to check out this playlist with all of our lessons teaching you English with music after you finish this lesson. You'll find that up here or down in the description below. Subliminal, something presented in a way that is not easily perceived or understood, but may be remembered or internalized subconsciously. That is, without the person realizing they are absorbing the information. Example, that presidential candidate was interviewed in front of a factory to give the subliminal message that he was a man of the people and that he appreciates hard work. The term subliminal advertisements is also common as something that brands used to try to do to make people think more of them and thus buy more. Although this is illegal nowadays. Example, the movie was full of subliminal ads for Coca-Cola. In this song, the meaning of subliminal things is open to interpretation. I'm curious, what do you think it means? Share your opinion down in the comments. Making the typical me break my typical rules. Typical is an adjective used to refer to a person or thing that shows the characteristics that are expected of or popularly associated with them. For example, a typical episode of a comedy TV series lasts about 20 minutes. Episodes of drama and action TV series are typically 40 minutes long. Basically, he is saying that with her, he is not his usual self. Hi, oh, yeah, great job today. I hope you had a lot of fun with that song. Be sure to go download it and listen to it and sing along with it so that you can practice your English everywhere. And be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get our newest lessons like this one every single week. Check out that free mini course I told you about. And you will definitely want to check out our playlist with lessons teaching you with songs. And finally, this other lesson that I think you'll really enjoy. Now it's time to go beyond the classroom and live your English. Aw, oh, yeah.